One Texas lawmaker wants to ban the use of school bus stop arm cameras. We're talking about those cameras mounted on the outside of the bus on the stop arms. They're used to ticket drivers who don't stop for kids that are crossing the street. One local school district gives Patty Santos its take on the possibility of taking away that view. So like, for example, if you've got a car that's coming this way, San Antonio ISD started using the bus stop arm cameras this school year. The, the sole purpose behind this program is to keep our kids safe to and from school. The program cites drivers who ignore the stop sign and flashing lights and put students in harm's way. Nathan Graff with SAISD says the system works the same way red light cameras work. A picture and ticket are mailed to the owner of the vehicle. The program is 100% is funded through um, any stop arm violations. District does not pay a dime. But State House Bill 2262 looks to end the use of these types of traffic surveillance citations. And if that bill were to pass, um, our stop arm camera program could go away. The bill is also opposed by some who don't want the cameras at all because it would grandfather in existing programs. So this the act of the red, red light camera programs are in and of themselves unconstitutional. Someone told me if everyone's against your bill, it's probably a good bill. So I think I got a good bill here. Since the start of the school year, the school district has issued 6,000 citations, each one costing $300. The fines pay for more than half a dozen cameras on each bus, Wi-Fi for students to use, and a rider tracker used by parents to keep tabs on their student. Graf says at the start of the school year, about 100 tickets a day were issued. Now it's about 75. It only takes just a few seconds just to stop. For the nine, Patty Santos. The traffic surveillance bill is currently pending in the Transportation Committee in the Texas House. It is sponsored by Representative Ed Thompson out of Pearland.